Hello, everyone, and hi to all my friends uh, in Ohio. Uh, before starting this wine tasting, I would like to tell you that I really miss to travel uh, in the United States since uh, for two times per year I'm used to come uh, in your state and to spend, uh, uh, to have a wonderful time with all the wine lovers and all the restaurant owners and all the people who are usually enjoying our wines. Due to this pandemic, this is not possible, but uh, I really like the United States and I hope to be there soon. So, first appointment, uh, thanks to Matteo, uh, which uh, gave me this opportunity to present all the wine that he has in program. And obviously, thanks to our distributor in uh, Ohio, Lorraine and Alan Burgess from Bottle to Glass. So, my name is Nicola Avanzi. I am, uh, along with my brother and my cousins, the third generation of our family-owned winery here uh, on Lake Garda. We are in the northern part of Italy. The region is Lombardy, which is the region of Milan. And I live in a spectacular and wonderful place called Lake Garda, which is the largest lake that we have uh, in Italy. We live in a particular uh, area because generally in northern Italy, temperatures are not so warm but uh, we have uh, the lake, so water, uh, we have the hills in the south part and we have the Alps in the northern part that create this very, very uh, perfect climate to make the vineyards live. This place is also, is also famous not only for uh, grape cultivation but also for olive tree cultivation and in the ancient time because of the nice temperature even for citrus fruits. Um, before starting this uh, wine testing we have to, to know two things about the wine we are going to testing together. First of all our family um, produces two DOC uh, in the same region so I'm talking about the Valtenesi or Riviera del Garda Classico DOC, uh, which is composed of the rosé wine we will try and of the two red wines we will try together. But then we produce also Lugana Doc. Lugana DOC is uh, an incredible uh, DOC, uh, which is in Lombardy region for the biggest percentage and in Veneto region for the other smaller percentage. I'm talking about the grape Turbiana. So this will be the order of the wine we will taste together today. We will start with our best seller, one of um, our most famous wine here in the winery. This is the Lugana di Sirmione DOC. And uh, let's start to talk about soil because here we have a total clay soil. Our estate, our vineyard, is positioned perfectly south the lake of Garda, where the clay uh, is for 60 meters under the uh, earth level, uh, and we have 100% clay. This uh, characteristic, together with the age of the vines, more than 50 years, give us this incredible and full-bodied white wine. So, the grape is indigenous, it's called Turbiana, and uh, the soil, uh, together with the age of the vines, is able to, to give us this incredible uh, sensation, and uh, we like to talk about Turbiana as a a white wine which has a behavior of a red wine. So the wine is first of all not ready and drinkable immediately after the harvest as happens for many other uh, white wines but Lugana must be um, appreciated a little bit late so we start generally selling the wine in April. The second thing is the body. So 
This is a, a white wine that generally red wine lovers love. And the third is the aging of the wine. Since we think that uh, uh, you can bet about the shelf life of this incredible white wine. If you have a bottle of Lugana 2019, for instance, for instance, just stock it and keep it in your cellar and try uh, to taste it after three, four years. This is uh, an incredible white and we are very, very proud about this one. So let's start to, to taste the first together. So as I told you before, wow. As I told you before, a grape is just one kind. Uh, Turbiana, 100%. The nose is very uh, typical, we say, very floral, with some uh, uh, incredible peach uh, notes and uh, almonds. It is very, it has a, this very slightly acidity is long and is, is persistent. It is, um, yes, you can feel it very, very long in your mouth and we say it cools the second glass. I don't know if I can say this uh, in your language, but when you get the first sip, your mouth is prepared to experience another one. So, this is a wine we all are used to experience simply by itself, so simply by the glass without food, but it's as well a wine that you can have with many, many kinds of foods. I'm talking about, uh, for instance, uh, uh, light fish dishes, or for instance, some sushi can be, or um, white meats. The other, the other very important thing is that our family owns this private uh, mansion, as you can see on the label Lugana uh, Sirmione, so our family is allowed to use the name of Sirmione, which is the name of the peninsula we have on Lake Garda, because we offer the guarantee that we do not buy any grape from others, but all this wine is produced just by cultivating our own grapes in that specific uh, field. And uh, uh, this is a, a huge warranty for the consumer and for our family's very important is, is like to have a sort of crew in France. So, we know that uh, Lugana is becoming very popular in the United States. There are many wineries selling this, but this one, believe me, is outstanding. Then, I can, I can talk too much, I guess, otherwise we have no time. We change a little bit the area and we drive from Sirmione to the southwest shore of Lake Garda. We are more or less uh, 30 minutes uh, driving. And now we go, we drive to the Valtenesi. Valtenesi is this incredible uh, area where Groppello native grape is cultivated. Groppello is a, an incredible red grape Sir, uh, sometimes we can compare it to the Pinot Noir grape because uh, the grape offers very gentle coloration and uh, this wine is perfect to produce very nice red wine but it's perfect and it's very famous to produce the Valtenesi Rosé coming from Lake, Lake Garda. So we have uh, the main DOC, it is called uh, Valtenesi Riviera del Garda Classico, because Riviera del Garda Classico is a bigger area. Valtenesi, you can consider it as the heart of the Riviera del Garda Classico. So the best uh, wineries, the best 
grape, the best vineyards are located in this small area. So, uh, by the way, Lake Garda has a, a huge historical heritage and you have to, when you will be visiting Italy, we hope soon, uh, this is a, a place you have to visit absolutely because it's just one hour and a half driving from Milan. Gruppello is the main grape belonging to the cuvee of Chiaretto, of the Valtenesi Rosé. Then we have a small percentage of Barbera, Sangiovese and Marzamino. What we do here is uh, we start by distemming the red grapes and uh, uh, we keep the skins together with the juice just for a few hours. We say just for the time of one night. This is why uh, on the label you will see in the Italian language il vino di una notte which means the wine of one night. After this short contact, the coloration of the wine, the color of the wine uh, will be light pink and not red. And uh, then we will carry out a, a sort of white wine fermentation. And this is an incredible uh, way uh, of drinking. We use for this a specific glass, which is this one. We like to use it because this was an ancient glass designed for the Chiaretto from Lake Garda, from the Valtenesi. As you can see, the color is incredible. I'm talking about, now we are, we are testing the same vintage you have in the United States, so the 2019. Wow, this is a pure, pure strawberry. The alcohol strength of this wine is uh, 13, so it's uh, not necessarily a very, uh, a too light rosé, but... Yes, it's refreshing. Acidity always very good and the acidity must be a little bit higher than usual for the wine low we have here in Italy. Uh, as for the Lugana, the sensation is incredible. Is, uh, as I told you, refreshing. Uh, you can experience uh, a very nice rosé that you can have uh, with many kinds of foods. A very interesting food pairing for the Chiaretto is pizza, because we say that Chiaretto has this incredible power to cut the fat. And so uh, it, it is very, very uh, well matched. Then this is a, a great uh, wine for fish, a great terrace wine at the same time. May I say both very versatile uh, if we talk about the food pairing. Yes, Ooh, yes, white flowers, yeah. I'm talking about the order. We have started with a Lugana, then we are experiencing a Chiaretto, and then we will switch to another Lugana because um, this one could be uh, too difficult to taste before the curate. Okay, we drive back to the Lugana di Sermione area. Yeah. So the same, obviously, vineyards. We have uh, more than 20 hectares in Lugana di Sermione, but uh, here we have a Lugana Riserva version. So the difference is that for this bottle we use uh, the, the most ancient uh, grapes that we have. And if in the, for the Lugana di Sermione we have uh, carried out a total uh, fermentation in stainless steel vats, here we have a partial fermentation in stainless steel vats and a, and a half in French oak barrique. So what we would like to earn is not um, white wine, 
with uh, uh, a too uh, heavy sensation, so not too much, not too much vanilla, not too much oak. But the sensation we would like to reach is very, very gentle. This is why we mix and we create this wonderful cube so that the the vanilla, the the the, the oak. Uh, tastes are very very gentle so ancient grape always a hundred percent tourbillon grape fermentation is still as still vets for our health and uh, uh, a passage in barrique for the other half then a long aging uh, in uh, barrel before being sold so passage in barrique is just for a few months okay and uh, let's try this one okay I'm, I'm experiencing a vintage 2016 which should be the one you have uh, uh, in the United States mm. the Trubiana grape is always very very clear we have this powerful sensation, much more than in the other one. The oak is very, very gentle. Mm. You can experience a cinnamon taste inside. Here we have character, okay? A, a huge personality. The mention we use is, is reserva. Reserva means that we have waited. Reserva means that if we have something special in the winery, we can keep it. And after uh, an aging of uh, our wine in bottle, minimum eight months, we can use this uh, uh, appellation to give importance to our Bogana. This is a wine that in Italy we um, recommend with very tasty uh, dishes. For instance, uh, uh, fish soups with garlics or tomatoes or middle up to aged uh, cheeses or uh, very structured uh, food. As I told you before, Lugana has uh, its incredible power uh, and you can stock a Lugana to have it in the future. We can do it with the first one you tried, or you can do it absolutely with a Reserva version, which will be much, much better uh, after uh, some years. And you can bet about the shelf life of this wine. I'm making troubles with the bottles. Okay, let's switch to the red wines. We drive back once again and we drive to Valtenesi. This is uh, our Superiore Riviera del Garda Classico. I, uh, I am a fan of this one because uh, Superiore uh, is a mention that you can't find uh, so often in Italy. There are many wines which can be named superior, many appellations, but not so many at the end. And it means that we have to pick up a lower quantity of grapes per hectare. And then we have to wait before releasing the vintage. So we have to wait minimum uh, of two years after the harvest. So if the harvest is uh, such in this case 2018, we can sell the wine from January 2020. The grapes uh, are almost the same grapes of uh, the Valtenesi Rosé. So Groppello, absolutely, our indigenous one, the indigenous grape from, from the Valtenesi Riviera del Garda Classico appellation. And then Barbera, Sangiovese and Marzemino. What I like precisely in this one is that this is not, you, have, you don't have to expect a too full-bodied uh, red wine, uh, not so strong, not with so many alcohol strength. I'm talking about a 13.5, but here you can discover the real Lake Garda philosophy. So, uh, 
wonderful gentleness. This is a wine that if you are blinded and if you are a Lake Garda wines connoisseur, you, you can, um, uh, how can I say, you can say, okay, this is a, this is a Valtenese, this is a special red wine coming from Lake Garda because it's, uh, it's unique. So I like it because when you talk about your terroir, uh, if you talk about your land, this is the result. As I told you before, Gropello grape is not uh, generally, can't give you a, a too uh, red color. I will use this one to let you understand, which is the color is gentle. A spicy, spicy notes, uh, small red fruits, and we like apricot, uh, uh, apricot jam, and this incredible soft uh, uh, tannins because is um, as for the Lugana, in this case, in this Riviera del Garda Classico Superiore, we are used to share our winemaking and to make uh, traditional winemaking in stainless steel vats and then an aging for the other part, always in French oak barrique. Uh, even in this case, not, not the, the oak sensation is very, very gentle as we want to do. Mm. It's so soft. A nice bitterness, a nice bitter sensation, a good salivation, so you are ready to experience another glass immediately as for the other wines. Maybe this, uh, this, this could be our, our philosophy, so wine that are so, so nice but so good to drink. This is our, our, our wine that uh, I like personally very much. We produce naturally also more full-bodied wine. Gropello is very clear, the gentleness is very clear. This is an incredible wine uh, to have it to have without food or we recommend it with for instance pasta dishes, pasta with tomato, mm, pasta with ragu, uh, red meat, uh, I'm, I'm I'm not talking about game or, but uh, for instance, a, a good steak. Good. This, by the way, was, uh, this is a nice story because when we entered the United States market, this one was not chosen at the beginning, not because of the quality, but because, uh, because, uh, uh, Lugana is, is known, uh, uh, Rosé uh, is, is, is running very good in the United States and uh, but after the first try uh, Lorraine and Alan decide immediately to have it in stock because and we had su success uh, about the sale of this one because uh, it's it's incredibly well made. I'm so, oh Okay, I'm quite, I'm quite good. We have the last one, which is our Monte Corno Rebo. Sorry, full of glasses. Monte Corno Rebo. We have a wonderful story to tell. Uh, we are more or less in the middle between the Lugana di Sermione and the Valtenesi area. I'm talking about where we have the winery and where we have the vineyards. Here we are in Desenzano del Garda, which is another wonderful city you have to visit. This is uh, this one, uh, estate, this vineyard is called Monte Corno, as the name of the wine. And this is a hill which overlooks uh, Desenzano del Garda city. You can see all the lake, you can see the peninsula of Timione. And I'm talking about a uh, grape which is not so common to find here. Now uh, it starts, but uh, the grape is called Rebo. Rebo uh, is the name 
of the grape and the name of the man, Mr. Rebo Rigotti, who in the 30s in San Michele all'Adige has created this crossing between the grape Teroldego and the grape Merlot. It's uh, uh, normally on Lake Garda we are authorized to pick up uh, 12 tons per hectare uh, of grape. In this case, we are able to pick up a half, so just six tons per hectare. So skins are full of extracts and where, where we are pressing the grapes during harvest time, the juice seems to be black. We have always a natural halo uh, around 14.5. The wine is spectacular. You should always open the bottle, we can say uh, half an hour before minimum, or if you have a decanter, this is better. Vintage 2016, so the same vintage we have in the United States. Totally rebel, so totally uh, this special grape. Yes, uh, always jam, always spices, vanilla, mm. the residual of sugar is always very low, but the sensation is anyway very, very soft. You can experience feel tannins. Okay, this is a wine. Uh, you need food. We can say you, you can have a glass. Yes, you can if you want, but you need food to experience this one. The aging poten potential is huge. Uh, we stock in our private cellar always 60, from 60 to 90 bottles per vintage and uh, I can say that uh, this will be incredible uh, up for minimum 10 years so this is always a good surprise okay so coloration is a, a very uh, a very dark red and then you have this this softness I, I was telling that residual of sugar is, is low, but uh, it's incredibly uh, very, very round. Uh, we make 100% French oak barrique, minimum uh, three years, but we have reached uh, in certain vintages uh, also the five years French uh, oak barrique. So, this is good. You have to try it in the United States. Okay, it's very difficult to try <laughs> five wines and not to talk too much because we spent together uh, almost 30 minutes. Generally, uh, I'm able to talk, about, to talk more, but uh, time is, uh, is not so much. So uh, I'm so grateful that you have joined these uh, these tastings. Uh, I hope you really appreciate. Uh, for me, it was a pleasure. Uh, I can't wait to to be to be with you once again in Ohio, which is a country I like very much. And thank you for the opportunity. Uh, and above all, uh, please remind about the DOC you have tasted. So, uh, Avanzi Family Wines. And above all, Lugana Doc and Valtenesi Doc. This is uh, an incredible place. So please come and discover uh, what we uh, wine producers are able to, to make. Ciao.